Week 2 and Donkey Teeth is taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Cardinals coming off their Week 1 win against the New England Patriots. We going out there and we getting some practice in here. You're seeing they're throwing it. 4th and 23 and that's going nowhere. We're coming out of here with some nice XP going towards our player. And let's head right on in to Week 2 against the Buccaneers. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley and this is Madden 17 on EA Sports. In their game last week, this guy played more like a linebacker than a defensive back. He was always in the middle of the action with a lot of tackles to his credit. Let's see if he brings that same mindset with him into this game. It's the Buccaneers going up against the Cardinals. With that, let's get out to the University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix. At Coming out here in our first series, second and five for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Don Heath lining up in the slot. Snap of the ball. My alarm's going off once again, but we are getting our first tackle of the game on Doug Martin. Next play, we set it down. It's first down and 10 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We are on Mike Evans. We're trying to cover him, and James Wins is going to hit him in the flat but for minimal game here. And let's hear what the commentators have to say about Don Heath. And as a first-rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of coddling guys and bringing them along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away. In the community's eyes and fan base, they'll be on you the entire way. And Coming up here, third down and five. Cardinals trying to get off the field early with a little bit of a play action here from Jameis Winston. Jameis got all the time in the world. He's just going to check down. And Justin Bethel with the interception. And the Cardinals going to turn over early. Arguably one of the best defenses in the league so far with likes of Justin Bethel, Deion Buchanan, Calais Campbell, Patrick Peterson, Tyra Matthew, and Honey Badger. But the offense isn't able to do anything here. And we we're coming in screaming and we almost get the safety. We shot that gap absolutely perfectly. But Jameis Winston is just able to get away. We dove at his feet. We kind of bit on the play action there. Second down though. They're going with the play action once again. Winston stepping back. Winston throwing it across the middle and that's almost intercepted. A big overthrow there. But on third down and 10, they're handing off and they're going nowhere. And the Cardinals produce another stop on defense. But the offense only gets three points out of it. Third down and six though. They're throwing it. We're almost jumping it for our first interception of the season. But we get another key stop there, forcing another punt. And let's see what our offense can do. Our offense hasn't done much lately. Well, Offense still doesn't do much left, and we're not on the field for this play, but we get the interception, and our defense is forcing turnovers with a two-minute warning approaching. Marcus Cooper with the interception, but our offense does nothing. First down from the one-yard line, 50 seconds left. What are they going to do? We're sending the house here. They're going with a handoff, and they're getting tackled for the safety. Cardinals defense is just flying right now. Our offense has got to step it up. I don't know how much longer we're able to hold this offense for, but we go into halftime up 12 to nothing, and our defense is pitching a shutout. As we send you on to Orlando, we hook back up with Larry Ridley. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. Tampa Bay starting with the ball here. Down 12 0. You're handing it to Doug Martin. Doug Martin shakes off the tackle from Donkey. He's able to pick up a few yards after that. Not much. Second down and nine. Stepping back. Winston going with another hand up to Doug Martin. And Duggernaut takes a blast from the Honey Badger. Picks up the first down, though. The first down and 10. They're handing it off once again. Going for nowhere. We're going to gang tackle Doug. Second down and nine. Donkey Heath coming in on the blitz. Donkey Heath coming off the edge, and Jameis Winston just throws it to the sideline. He's able to pick up three yards there, but the pressure is getting to him. Third down and six. They're looking, and I completely went the wrong way, but Vincent Jackson can't get two feet in bounds. And that's another stop for this defense. Defense still pitching that shutout, but the offense doesn't do anything with it. First down and ten. Jameis stepping back. Jameis looking. Jameis hucking a bomb to Mike Evans, who comes down with it for the touchdown. Guys, like I was saying, it was only a matter of time before this offense could do something, and one of the twin towers on that team between Vincent Jackson and Mike Evans finally comes away with something. Our offense puts together a field goal to put us up eight, but now our defense has got to come up with another stop. It doesn't look like our offense is going to give us any support here. Second down to five. Step back, and James Winston fumbles it, and the Cardinals recover, and this defense is putting our offense in great field position, setting us up for at least some kind of points here. Hopefully they can do something, but look at this move by Calais Campbell. Puts the guard on ice skates there, gets a sack fumble, and we get the recovery, just what this defense needed here. Our offense comes away with the touchdown, which was much needed. They're going with the screen, and we're blowing that thing up. There's about eight minutes left. Tampa Bay's have to put together some kind of a drive here and get the ball back if they're going to want to 
force this game into overtime. Game is supposed to know third and 13. Going with a little play action. He's stepping back. He's looking. He's hitting this guy in the flat, but it's not enough for the first down. He's been in check all game. He's got two interceptions. He's got a sack fumble. Not working for him. But at the two-minute warning, though, they answer right back with a touchdown to make it a one-score game. That same corner gets burned by Mike Evans on pretty much the same play. And pretty much besides Mike Evans, this offense hasn't done much against us. But here is a chance to get the stop. Our offense doesn't come through. Tampa Bay with no timeouts. On their own 29. Trying to get a score here. All the defense has got to do is come through with another stop. First down for Jameis Winston. Stepping back. He's looking. Jameis surveying the field. Jameis looking. And the pressure's coming to Jameis. He's stepping, rolling out of the pocket, throwing it to the sideline. And he gets nothing there. It's probably going to be a holding penalty. And the defense is all fired up. What are we going to do? When we have the opportunity, they've called these plays a bunch of times. Now they're First down and 20 now for this Bucks offense. Backed up even more. Stepping back. Jameis, he's looking for someone. He's throwing it and it's going for nowhere. Second down and 20. As his pass rush is getting there, the defense is starting to lock up. Jameis stepping back. He fumbles. And they recover it in the end zone for the safety of this defense with its third safety of the year. Can you believe it? And that's going to be your ball game. 24 to 14. We walk out of here with the W. After the game, here's our XP from that game. We played a total of 46 downs, three tackles, and one tackle for a loss. I'm still getting, you know, a feel for the game. It's hard playing a safety with that camera angle. It definitely is, but I want to give you the viewpoint that I have. I'm going to try to step up and try to get more interceptions, but here's what our stats look like, and here's what the XP looks like. I'm going to make a purchase here. We are going to go take a look at some of the traits. As you see, some of our stats are high enough that I want them. The tackling hit power are pretty high. Same with some of our athleticism. But we go into trade, and we're going to go pick ourselves up the clutch trait. And we're going to move on from this week. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace.